There's one that looks a little bit like lamb's quarters and uh, the leaves are not, are not diamond shaped. They, they have jagged edges called teeth, tiny little green flowers, alternate leaves, and a very strong resinous smell. This is called epizote. I should write down the names of all of these. The so first one is lamb's quarters. And the second one is epizote. And uh, this one comes from this one comes from Mexico, uh, but it's very very common in our area. I, I did a tour yesterday in Inwood Hill Park with a school class, and that's where all these specimens came from. And we'll pass some sprigs around. This isn't one you eat by itself. Use it in small quantities as a seasoning. In large quantities, it's actually toxic. In small quantities, it's good for you. No, so take a look. Now this is to smell. It's a spice, so you don't, uh, you don't go eating whole cloves of garlic. It's the same. It's uh, essential in Mexican cooking. Uh, you put it in guacamole, you put it in tomato sauce, you put it in bean dishes. You so pass it around, give it a squeeze and smell it. And you'll smell the resinous, resinous fragrance. Um, really, really good, used in small quantities as a seasoning. In Mexico, they use it to kill parasites. It used to be on the U.S. Pharmacopeia, uh, but it was removed because the drug companies wanted to patent drugs to kill parasites, uh, things like flagell. Excuse me? Is it vermifuge? Uh, yes, it's a vermifuge. Yeah, that's the herbal name for things that kill, uh, that kill parasites. So you put a, uh, use this like parsley, you put a little bit of it in guacamole, in soups. It's especially good in beans. Uh, where it also has an effect called carminative effect. Someone who did not like opera um, likened, uh, thought that uh, Carmen was giving off lots of noxious fumes when she sang and called all herbs that are good for gas and flatulence carminatives and uh, the, name, the name stuck. Uh, it may also come from the word to card which is to purify but uh, either way if you put this in uh, some of this in a pot of beans when the beans are boiling and you listen to it, uh, to the bubbles boiling, you might hear caution with this. Uh, some people should never use epizote. Um, it can be very dangerous, even fatal for them. However, it's very easy to tell in advance who those people are. You can tell if you shouldn't eat, use epizote at all by your occupation. Do not use epizote if you're a lawyer or a politician because it kills parasites. Uh.